my name is Hugo Tavares and I'm one of the vice presidents of the mathematics department. Mathematics department offers a bachelor's degree in applied mathematics and computation, a master in applied mathematics and computation, and this one is divided into four branches. So you can choose to do a profile in uh, pure mathematics, probability and statistics, uh, mathematics of computation, and industrial and applied mathematics. Then we have, jointly with two other departments here, uh, a master in data science and engineering. And at the PhD level, we offer a PhD in mathematics and a PhD in statistics and stochastic processes. So first of all, you have to understand that um, Portuguese students that come to Technico are among the best in the country. So what this creates is a wonderful uh, environment um, for learning, where professors want to really bring the best of, of, out of their students, and students are, are eager to learn. So moreover, it's, it's a very complete institution, so even though it's an engineering school, uh, it has good mathematics and physics departments, for instance. So it's an institution where fundamental research goes hand in hand with engineering and application. And then you have also the extra uh, curricular activities, you can do volunteering, internships, uh, language courses, sports, so we have good sporting facilities. And we even have four museums, so if you're interested in uh, scientific culture, you can also find it here. And I must say that the number of, of foreign students has been increasing. And so if you walk on the campus, you really feel uh, this atmosphere changing. Uh, and it feels really nice to be on campus. You have, we have lots of uh, coffee places, computer labs, room for students. And then finally, um, well, if you're looking at this video, you probably already uh, searched a bit uh, of information about Lisbon. So you know uh, that's a wonderful city. And so at least the uh, mathematics department is uh, in the Alameda campus, which is in the Lisbon uh, center, let's say. And, and that's really good because imagine yourself finishing a, a tiring day of classes. Just take the metro and fi in 15 minutes, you can be close to the river uh, watching a sunset. So let me speak here specifically about mathematics, even though uh, I think what I'm going to say uh, can be applied to other departments. So um, the students are very good, and they, they, but they are not competitive, they, they help each other. So on the one hand, they are highly motivated and want to learn, and they help each other. For instance, we have here a common room for students where they typically meet and study together. And there's also a very good uh, relationship uh, between uh, professors and students. So they usually students come to our office hours and ask questions during classes. So there's a really, there's really a good environment that promotes learning. We are also a, a quite large department for mathematics uh, departments. We have more than 80 uh, professors. And in practice, this has a, a huge advantage because you can find here uh, uh, professors specialized in all the interesting parts of mathematics. So if you come here already with some, with some um, taste for a specific part in mathematics, you will be able to find here someone that can guide you through the process. Or even if you don't know exactly what you want to do with the degree in mathematics, here you will be exposed to several fields and then you can design your path after seeing all this, all this information. Let me just also point out, to, to conclude, that uh, mathematics at the University of Lisbon is ranked number one at the national level in, in, in the most uh, important uh, world university rankings. So, uh, bachelor courses typically are, are taught in Portuguese. Even though it happened to me, there is someone in class that speaks just a little bit and does not understand anything, but that's not a problem because everyone speaks English. So in certain moments, the professor can translate or ask some colleagues because really every, everyone speaks English. But at the master and PhD level, um, as soon as there is a foreigner that does not speak Portuguese, uh, classes are, are taught in English. 
So regardless of the degree in which the student uh, is, I would say that participating in a student's group is always ideal. And, and the mathematics study, uh, student's group, which is called NMath, is very dynamic and good. So that's really something that the student should do. Then, uh, regarding the ideal academic path, I would say it really depends on the profile of, of the student. So uh, at the bachelor's level, maybe a, a major in mathematics makes sense with a minor in physics and informatics or the other way around. And we have here uh, examples of people doing that. Uh, many students also do uh, mobility programs, uh, spending either one semester or one year uh, in, in another top uh, European university. And our students typically do it uh, on the third year of the bachelor's or in the first year of the master's. Now, going to our master in uh, applied mathematics and computation, uh, I should point out that uh, our department is part of a very nice international network which is ECMI, which is European Consortium of Mathematics in Industry. So if you're interested in um, applications, in industrial applications, you should choose a profile in our master that is compatible with that. And this way you will be able to, to participate in modeling weeks, where jointly with other international students you will form a team, you will get a problem, a real problem from industry. We are going to try to solve it with mathematical tools. So that's really interesting. Or uh, when you choose your master thesis or even a PhD thesis, you can do it in connection with a, a private company or a public company. We have examples of that going on because we have several connections with, with the industry. So let me give you the short answer. So I would say that any job that involves a constant learning, adaptation, uh, to be challenged and to understand deeply things is a dream job for a mathematician because when you study mathematics you are constantly challenged you always want to understand go to the to the to the to the deep facts to understand everything with logic and so a job that gives you this is a dream job for us. now the long answer right uh, I, I must say this is I think this is a very exciting time to learn mathematics let me tell you this, so if you look for the job portal CareerCast, uh, they do this fun thing, so every year they do a top 10 of what they consider the 10 best jobs in the world. They do a balance between uh, career progression, salaries, constant uh, challenges, etc. And for many years now, uh, careers related with mathematics make, uh, make it to the top 10. So in the last edition of this ranking, Seven, seven out of ten jobs are related with mathematics and they say specifically that there is a growing job market for mathematical professions, professionals. So our department can help you get, for instance, one of the following jobs. So data scientist, so this is number one, for instance. Data science, to the science of understanding the huge data that we now uh, have at our disposal really requires a lot of mathematics. So you can also become a statistician, a mathematician, a university professor. My, my job is very good, I, I, I agree. I'm very happy doing what I do. You can become uh, your operation research analyst, uh, information security analyst, an actuary. So the seven jobs that I said are the seven that are in the top 10 that are related with mathematics. The current world uh, really needs more and more mathematics because we have more data, we have uh, the world is becoming more complex and so we, be, we need mathematics to understand it. And you have probably seen this during the pandemic, that there will always be every now and then uh, a mathematician on television trying to explain the trends of the, of the infected and so on. So I would say that uh, depending on what your tastes and what you prefer, you can find a job with a mathematics degree you can find a job in almost every sector of the economy. So you can be more interested in the financial world or in energy companies, insurance, management, research, and mathematics uh, can help you get one of these jobs. So maybe three advices. So first one is, of, okay, to look online for, for information. But then, okay, second advice, maybe more personal, contact uh, the coordinator of the degree in which you are interested. Yeah. 
Okay, so at least in mathematics we are, we are available, we want to help. So we will instantaneously reply to you and to, to try to solve all, uh, to answer all your questions and solve your, your problems. And then last advice is to contact the mathematics students group, which is called NMath. They are friendly and, and helpful and they for sure will uh, answer all your questions. So uh, the bottom line is we, are, uh, we want to help you and, and, and help you succeed and adapt in this new experience. So let me give you two, two, two examples. So uh, we have a research group in an area called numerical analysis, which helps uh, medical doctors, namely cardiologists, to make decisions how to better treat patients. So basically what they do is they model the blood flow uh, and test different treatments with mathematical models. So you can test these things on the computer before testing it in actual patients. Then another project is uh, jointly with the Civil Engineering uh, National Laboratory, uh, where some of my colleagues uh, uh, study water consumption and water distribution systems. Now, more generally, uh, we, we cooperate with, with several and, and provide counseling, or consulting actually, to some uh, private and public companies, and we sometimes also supervise with them uh, some master and PhD thesis. So examples of these companies can be Bosch, TAP, or uh, the Portuguese airline, uh, public hospitals, the Institute of Molecular uh, Medicine. We have some data science companies like Closer. We have the CP, the Portuguese National uh, Train Company, the Telecommunication Institute. So we have, uh, we are part of several uh, collaboration networks. So come to Technical Lisboa to study mathematics. We are here to help you succeed in your career.